Hello my fellow lobsters and today in this command block video I'm going to be showing you how to give yourself a stack of any item and this could be a stack of snowballs, diamond axes like I have here in my inventory, you could stack lava buckets, water buckets, anything and this is insanely insanely cool and you can even move it around split it in half and all that stuff the only thing you can't do is restack it I mean you can but it'll just you'll just miss one of those and if you place it down sometimes you'll one of the items will come out but either way this is a really cool trick and today I'm gonna be showing you how to do it so this is actually insanely simple like there is almost nothing you have to do for this all you have to do is run a command similar to this one. So you have to summon an item. By the way, we have videos on summoning items or summoning anything in general. You can check um, our channel out for that and also remember to subscribe if you enjoy. Um, but basically what you're going to do is you're going to slash summon item, your coordinates, which is the triple tilde thing. We also have a video on um, positioning items or positioning spawning and setting blocks and all that kind of stuff. And in the NBT portion of it, note this does not work in Bedrock Edition, unfortunately. I wish it did. But um, basically all you're going to do is do item, capital, like this, a colon, and then you're going to put these two, um, the curly brackets, after. And you're going to do ID, and in quotes, Minecraft, and whatever item you want to, it to be after that. So... Assume I want to get a stack of um, wooden swords. Or I want to give myself 16 wooden swords. And you do count um, 16B. So that's for 16 wooden swords. And if I do that, you notice I suddenly have 16 wooden swords. Um, let's say, however, I want 48. I'm going to change that to 48. And now I have a stack of 48 wooden swords. But... And you you can do a maximum of 127, which will give you 63 and 64. But the second you do 128, it doesn't do anything. It just summons air. Unfortunately, you can't do a stack of 128 to my knowledge, but you can give yourself stacks of 16 and 48. So now let's say we want to give ourselves a we want to give ourselves three wooden swords that are enchanted and you can't do this you can't do enchantments um id on breaking level 10 because this just shows up like this with an nbt tag what you have to do is you if let's say you want to give it on breaking 10 or any nbt tag for the actual item what you have to do is you have to go comma tag all lowercase and then you put basically another set of curly brackets. So let's say I want to give myself unbreakable wooden swords. Unbreakable one is how you give yourself unbreakable wooden swords. And I want to give them, um, I want to give myself wooden swords that also have fire aspect. So we're going to do fire aspect level 10. And now you notice we have an unbreakable, we have three unbreakable fire aspect 10 swords in our hotbar. And now, so there's a couple more things I want to note about this, is you can't actually technically do this, and you'll get more wooden swords out of it, um, which is sort of the thing that you could do, but I recommend using this instead of, um, I mean, unless you're trying to make, like, something like a cursed image or something like that. Um, what you should do is instead of using swords or armor, what you want to try to do is you want to do stuff like potions. So um, I'm not going to show off how to actually give yourself potions, like special potions, but assuming I want to do something like splash potion, um, and these will show up with fire aspect 10 and unbreakable, but if you don't give it any effects with a generator, and I will be showing off videos on that. It won't, it won't actually put anything in it. So you just throw the splash potion, and it won't do anything. And just to show what it looked like in adventure mode, they actually all stay in the same stack. And another quick thing about this is that items will actually take damage when you use them all at the same time. So assuming I want to use the same thing with the fire aspect tent, um, wooden swords, and let's just summon. Husk, 
husk, and husk. And the reason I summon husks a lot is because they don't burn in daylight and they have 10 hearts. Um, you can also summon piglins if you want. But notice, um, down in my hotbar, these are all actually taking damage at the same time. Oh, jeez. Okay. And, look, so all of them take damage at the same time, and if you spread them out, they're all going to have the same durability. That's the reason I recommend you don't use, um, swords, because they can just be unstacked immediately, and the durability actually scales with it. And this is actually really, really cool with the sword thing. The only reason I don't recommend it is because it's, like, it's really hard to control what the players will do with it. Um, and you can actually stack any item in the game with this. I'm sure I've said that already, but, like, you, if you want, you, you can stack fishing rods, you can stack shears, flint and steel, netherite shovels, wooden hose, I don't know, you can stack anything. So if I were to do... So assume I want, uh, how about a stack of pearls, right? Um, and I'll just do ender pearl. And now you've got a stack of pearls. And if, assume you want a stack of snowballs, like how in Hypixel Sky Wars, um, there are stacks of snowballs in the mid chests. Now, you can do that in vanilla Minecraft. And, um, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And this was really fun to make and figure out. Um, it was actually an accidental thing that I figured out when I was making a map for um, just a bunch of mini games to test out. I accidentally figured out this weird thing. Um, and this gives you so much power in the world of Minecraft. And it's, it's literally insane. But either way, thank you so much for watching. And we will see you in the next video. Goodbye.